Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen the combining of the two red users in a store we have seen. Now in this video, we will try to complete the sign up uh, logic. Now up to where we have did, we have did the validations for this sign up and we need to submit it to the database. Right. So now in the sign up component, if you try to see up to here, we have did it. So now if there is any error, so we can write the negative condition, something like that reverse. So if there is any error, just return. Just return means just stop there. Okay. So you can remove this one also like this so that it will be very simple. Yeah, if there is any error, just return or otherwise. So now we need to write the condition. So now what I need to do, I need to dispatch an action that uh, what we can say start the sign up or sign up. So just start the sign up thing. So now what I can do here, so let's go to the auth red user, not auth red user, auth actions. Now we will try to create the actions. So here I can write something like export constant sign up underscore sorry sign up. We don't need this actually what we can say that constant. So first we will be having one action created nothing nothing but what we can say is sign up action sign up action right. So this one will take the email and also the password. So we will be getting the email and password right. So here you will be having the redx trunk that is nothing but the dispatch and in this dispatch we need to call the sign up thing. So now what I will try to do so this is not a constant this is a function actually this is action creator right. So now in this sign up function sign up action what I can do here I need to call the service. So I will create a new service for this one. So here I can create something like auth service. So we will write it as auth service. So in this auth service what I will do first one will be the export function sign up sign up. So this one also will take email and the password. So what I need to do here I need to call the axios call. So now before calling this axios call so right now let's say I try to see the setup. So now here <coughs> I am trying to do the I am trying to use the firebase. So what I can do so here firebase auth rest api. So I will try to type firebase auth rest api ok. So this is the url. So uh, now if I try to open this one authorized API. So in this authorized API, you will be having here some options. Let me show you. Yeah, sign up. We are using the sign up, right? So let's click on the sign up with email or password. So this is the sign up with email or password. This is the endpoint URL. So in order to sign up, and here you'll having you'll be having the email, password, and return security. These are the items I need to send as the request. So payload, and this is the response we will be getting. So now what we need to do now what we need to do so we need to these things as a payload thing so this is the response we are getting and here in this endpoint url you are able to see this api key so where can i get this api so the api where you can where you can get is, is in your firebase console so the firebase console we are using this real time database right so this is the real time database we are using the, all the data what we are using the post data everything is getting stored here in this post now what I will try to do here you will be having another option that is nothing but the authentication. So we are dealing with the authentication. Now we need to set up the sign in method. So what is the sign in method? You can click on that size set up sign in method or top you will be having another option sign in method tab. Now when you click on the sign in method we are using the email password type of authentication. So we are using the email password type of authentication. So we can click on this edit symbol and you can click on enable. So you can toggle the enable icon and click on save. So now you will be you have enabled this email password authentication mode. So now what I will try to do so we now we need to get the API key right. Now let's click on this gear icon so settings icon where you found at the right side of the project overview. Now if you click on this icon you will be able to see the project settings and in this project settings if you click on this project settings and here you will be able to see the web API key and this is the this is the API key which is intended here. So the, uh, the API key what they have mentioned here is this that is that is nothing but the API key here you are able to see. Okay, so now we try to use this endpoint URL. So now let's copy this URL. Okay, I am copying this entire URL and here I will try to call this sign up method. So Axios, so I what I need to do, I need to return this promise axios.post as this one is a post. So what I will try to do, so I will try to paste this URL and in the place of this API key. 
what I need to do, I need to copy this API key and I can paste it directly here. Okay, that's it. So now let's import this Axios. And if I import this Axios, that's finished. And here I need to frame the post data. Okay, I am framing the post data. So directly I can pass email and password. So what are the email and password I am getting? Here I can pass it. And we are able and we have seen that there is another third option. In the author is written security token, written secure token. This should be always true. So here you are able to see that should always be true. Okay, fine. Let's try to copy this one and make it as a true. That's it. So we have framed the post data and let's pass this post data as a second parameter. So now we are written, we are able to get the promise and we are returning this promise through this method. And here in this dispatch method, what I will try to do is I will call directly this sign up method which is present in the services and sign up method for that sign up method I will pass the email and password which has got as a parameters for this function and here dot then so we are getting a promise and in this promise I will be getting a response and in this response I need to dispatch the action. So now what I will try to do here I will create one constant so confirmed sign up or otherwise what I can say is sign up confirmed action or something like this okay so is equal to so sign up action confirmed sign up okay so this is the one method and what I can write is so here another one what we can write is sign up confirmed action right so this is the failed action so let's say let's say assume that we have got failed so now we can write the failed action so now we have written the failed action also now we are getting what we are getting so when we got that dot then miss it is a confirmed one so let's try to dispatch this one so i try to dispatch what i need to do i need to write the action creator let's try let's create the export function confirmed sign up okay confirmed sign up so confirmed sign up and we need to pass the so you will be getting a data here so let's try to take the data as it is and what i will try to do so written type what is the type so type will be sign up okay sign up confirmed action and the payload will be the data sorry payload will keep it as directly payload and we'll keep the same name here whatever the name we got it we'll try to keep it here that's it so we got the kind confirmed sign up action or otherwise we can keep something like confirmed sign up action so that it will be very easy to remember that as this function is action creator and it's in action so now i will try to call this action before calling this action what i will try to do is i will try to console.log response what is the response dot response we are getting okay so this is the response let's try to see whether we have we are getting the response or not so now let's go here or otherwise what we need to do before going here we need to dispatch an action right so now here let's try to dispatch an action constant dispatch is equal to use dispatch hook we need to use the use dispatch hook you can also use the constant map dispatch to props also those type of method also we can use it and here i am using the dispatch of sorry sign up right sign up action i think this is the sign up action yeah sign up action i need to pass the email and also the password so these are the two things i need to pass it to the sign up action and this sign up action will call the sign up axios call and it will return the raw promise and we need to print the response what we have got so now let's try to see the output whether we are getting an output or not now let's go to the console.log and in this console what i can do is oh sorry the console yeah in this console or otherwise first we will see the network okay i think you are able to see the network calls okay so now what i will try to do here leela at the rate leela.com one two three four five six okay so this is the thing i have i am clicking on the sign up i clicked on the sign up and here i am able to see the action so now here if you try to see see here we are able to get the all the token and everything we are able to get it so in the console if i try to see we are able to get the data also so in this data we are having email expires in id token kind local id refresh token everything we are having so let's try to save these all details in the store so now if i go into the author user now let's go into the author user so 
So here in this initial state, what I will try to do, I will try to create an auth. And in this auth, I will have something like email empty. Okay, ID token empty. And another one is the local ID empty. And another one is what are the details we are getting? Expires in. And another one is the expires in. Expires in is also empty. Okay, email ID token expires in. Email ID token expires in. ID token and local ID and refresh token. If you want, you can also save this refresh token. Okay, of type empty. So these are the details we are getting. And now here I can write in a such a way that if action dot type is equal to is equal to what I can say sign up underscore conform underscore action if it is like this then what I can do here so return the state whatever the state we are having and also let's update the auth with the action dot payload so whatever the data you are sending so just update it with the payload that's it now we go we have updated this sign up conformed action now we need to dispatch it here so what I can do here so let's dispatch it here so dispatch of you can call this conformed action here and you can send the response dot data literally whatever the data you are getting you can rest directly directly you can send it now let's try to see whether whether it is successfully saving it in the store or not so now in the network if I try to see or otherwise in the redux if you try to see so nothing no no actions are being performed here now I will change some sign up thing okay SD I am keeping and I am clicking on the sign up see confirmed sign up has been triggered and in this confirmed thing if I want to check the state so now we didn't get any state right so now if I try to see the chart and everything if I try to see the action so everything it is trying to send it right so everything we are able to see and the raw data okay and the state the state what we are having right now diff everything is not able to see we are not able to see why so we have come we have fired this sign up thing so confirmed sign up action is also fired in the auth what we have seen if action dot type is equal to is equal to sign up underscore confirmed underscore action right that is the only right sign up underscore confirmed underscore we are getting the payload we are dispatching it here and in this payload we are saving that using the action dot payload right now let's try to see the debugger here so we will keep a debugger here whether it is coming or not this type of uh, thing so i think we need to refresh it hard refresh i think so i will do the hard refresh i think now it will work i think so i didn't refresh previously i think so now what i will try to do leela at the rate leela2 at the rate leela.com and one two three four five six seven and now i will try to click on the sign up now we got the debugger so that means we are able to enter in the sign up confirm and in the action we are having the payload everything and the type also we are able to see now i will, I will close this debugger so i can end it so now in the sign up if you if you try to go in the chart or in the tree yeah see now in the state we are able to see the auth thing right so auth of auth we are able to see the all the data whatever the data we are having we are able to see everything right so this is how we can use the state data so now we are successfully able to save the token and everything we are able to save it in the store now let's try to see if we find anything so for example i am trying to click on the same sign up so i am trying to uh, sign up with the email id that already existed that we that we have already signed up now i click on the sign up we are getting an error that request failed with status score 400 so if i go to see if i try to see here so we are able to see the 400 and here we are able to see the message something like email underscore exists so now this type of issues how we can uh, solve let's try to see the validation error so now if we if this response has been failed for if this sign up has been failed means how we can catch the data through the redux store and how we can show that valid valid error in the ui so let's try to see it in the next video so if you have any any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.